episodes of Stargirl. Premiere Wednesday, August 31st, only on The CW. Now at 10, get ready for Carmageddon. In just about an hour, the 210 freeway will be shutting down for badly needed repairs. What you need to know about the five-day closure. So don't shoot, money's in the bag, money's in the bag. Take the money, take the bag. Only on five, knocked down and robbed a bank customer with a bag of cash is thrown to the ground by a brazen thief. And another mountain lion struck and killed trying to cross the busy 101 freeway. New questions tonight about the future of these majestic creatures in Southern California. Now on the News at 10. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Cher Calvin. We begin with breaking news in Windsor Square, where police are searching for a suspect who escaped after a wild and dangerous pursuit through Hollywood. The driver behind the wheel of a stolen SUV slammed into an RV before running from officers. Gil Labus overhead in Sky 5. Gil. Well, I can share this pursuit lasted about 10, 15 minutes. Possibly the uh, LAPD Hollywood Division was in pursuit of this stolen vehicle. Now, when it uh, drove through the streets, it ended up here at uh, this is going to be Van Ness and Third. When it when it came into this intersection, it crashed into that RV. Let me zoom in and push into that crash, and you can see the car up on the sidewalk. Now, the LAPD was in tracking mode. That means the uh, ground units were not directly behind the vehicle when it crashed, and that driver was able to slip away out of the sight of the airship that was overhead, made his way over last seen at 5th and Norton at this point, but LAPD now doing a search for that stolen vehicle suspect. That vehicle there up on the sidewalk still in the EC, the LAPD still in the area searching for that suspect. That's the very latest overhead in Sky 5. I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, uh, Gil, thank you. Carmageddon is coming and delays and traffic jams. That's what experts are predicting if drivers don't prepare for a massive freeway shutdown in the San Gabriel Valley. In just under an hour, Caltrans is closing part of the 210 for 126 hours for badly needed bridge repairs. Chris Wolf with us from Irwindale tonight with everything you need to know about the project. Chris. Absolutely. Micah and Cher, one woman we spoke with today says no bueno. She is not looking forward to this bridge renovation project and its traffic impact. I'm currently standing at one end of this closure. This is Irwindale Avenue over the 210 freeway through Irwindale. And if you look right behind me, you can see all of those headlights coming toward us. This would be the westbound side of the 210 freeway and traffic already has been squeezed into just just one lane on this side. If we shift the camera over, cars are still moving fast and freely in the eastbound lanes, but this will all change, should change, in less than one hour. Commuters and truckers using a major corridor between San Bernardino and Los Angeles counties, beware. Carmageddon 2022 is here. Work crews need to replace some hinges on the 50-year-old San Gabriel River Bridge, which is part of the 210 through Irwindale. Caltrans will be shutting down a stretch of the roadway between the 605 Interchange and Irwindale Avenue for five and a half days, beginning 11 p.m. Wednesday, July 20th, and ending at 5 a.m. Tuesday, July 26th. The eastbound side will be open for two-way traffic, three lanes in each direction. The significantly restricted flow of traffic will pose a major challenge for Southern Californians who frequent this area or live in the surrounding communities. This young IT worker already has a lengthy commute, an hour to an hour and a half, down to Irvine every morning. I'm definitely going to have to leave a lot earlier now. I guess I'm just going to cross my fingers and hope for the best, but thanks for the heads up. <laughs> it's kind of hard because we got to go that way. Now we got to find other ways. That means more miles for us. That means the fuel for us is like really expensive for us. It's going to be a nightmare really for truckers and for people that are commuting in the morning. Oh my God. Mm. Caltrans says if you don't need to be in the area, then stay away. If this is part of your commute and you can work from home, great. Otherwise, take Interstate 10, take State Route 60 instead as an alternate route, or better yet, just ditch the car, leave it at home, take the Gold Line uh, or Metrolink. If people insist on taking this roadway, allow a lot of extra time to get to work or where you need to go. Add extra time into your commute, at least an hour. And if you're in the surrounding communities, expect congestion with spillover traffic, especially during rush hour.